Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today I've got a good one for you guys and that's because we are going to be setting up a new indoor turtle pond for my three pet turtles. And we're pretty much going to hop right into this one. As you can see we are down here in the new fish room. We've got our 500 gallon pool pond right here ready to be set up. But before I set that up I did want to set this up right here. This is going to be our turtle pond. And first of all let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. As you can see it's one of those like hard plastic preformed pond liners. And I actually got this thing for free a couple years ago. Some dude from my high school was getting rid of it so I went ahead and picked it up and it's been sitting under my parents deck for literally two years now and now we finally have a use for it and let me tell you guys what I'm thinking for this pond I don't have too much planned for it yet but if you take a look right here this outer layer is like really flexible of course you're supposed to bury these like outside in the dirt and if we did that we would have something to like support these shelves but it is just gonna be sitting here like this and because of that I'm actually just gonna fill up that lower bowl with water and then these upper shelves are gonna be all land like we're gonna have gravel we might have sand in one of these corners I think I want to stay away from mulch in case the turtles like drag it back into the water but I think it would just look super cool and I'm pretty sure this lower bowl is about 40 gallons which of course is not that much they're in a 55 gallon right now so it would be a downgrade in a way but this pond is not gonna be a permanent home for my three turtles I'm at the point right now where I just want to get everything from the old fish room over here into the new fish room as quickly as possible so we're setting it up like this for the turtles today but a month or two down the road we could even set up a bigger turtle tub for them down here or we could still use this one and like build some kind of frame to support those shelves and then fill it all the way up to the top. We've got a lot of options for this turtle pond down the road. But like I said, today we are just gonna be filling up that lower bowl. And yeah, I think I want that back corner to be the basking area. I kinda want this area over here to be like a little private beach. We can make it all sand. And then I also do wanna have a bunch of plants on the land section. They're probably all gonna be fake plants because I don't know how much light this pond is gonna be getting. But what I do know is it's gonna look amazing when we're done. And to make it look even better, I've got this little reed fencing thing. And this is gonna go around the outside of the pond. It's gonna look super clean. Oh yeah, and what we're also going to be doing is actually elevate this entire pond. I'm going to get a couple cinder blocks that this thing can sit on and that'll put it at the same level as the pond. It's all going to work out perfectly. And the very first thing we're going to do is head over to my parents' house. I think my dad has a couple cinder blocks I can steal. And yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys over at the fish room. Alrighty guys, I am over here at the fish room. We are currently feeding everyone. You can see the turtles munching right down here. Toby just got one. And then Midas over here in his separate pitcher. I have explained this a couple times before, but Midas is an albino red-eared slider. And most albinos have a hard time seeing. That is why I put Midas in his own separate pitcher with a lot of food. So he can just kind of blindly bite and still be able to find stuff. As you can see I'm doing right there. And yeah, it is these three turtles right here that are going in the turtle pond we're setting up today. And this is their current tank. It's a 55 gallon aquarium with a DIY above tank basking area that I built. And this right here is like the most land area they've really had to explore. So I really think they're gonna enjoy all that land area in their new pond. But yeah, they're just down there munching. Fortunately, we do have two cinder blocks here that I can take. I'm not actually stealing them from my dad. He said I could take them. And yeah, after I finish feeding everyone in the fish room, I'm gonna get all that loaded up into the truck. Then I'll see you back at the house. And guys, check that out. It turned out exactly as I wanted it to. It is at the exact same level as the pool pond. I absolutely cannot wait to see this thing done. However, I do have a family dinner tonight and you know, family comes first. So we are gonna come back to this in the morning and we're finishing up this turtle pond tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and I am hoping that we can finish up this turtle pond today. We've got a lot to do, so we're pretty much gonna hop right back into it. And I think the first thing I wanna do today is actually rinse down our sand, get it into the pond. It's gonna make up the whole bottom of the pond. And then I think I wanna fill this pond up with water. So like I said, I am gonna go ahead and rinse that sand and then we'll start putting it in this pond. And now we're gonna start filling this thing. Alrighty guys, so the pond is full, but as you can see, it is pretty murky. Obviously when the water clears up in a few days, it'll be looking a lot better. But what we're gonna do now is throw this filter in there. I don't think this is gonna be the permanent filter. We're probably gonna need something a bit bigger, but I do wanna get some water movement in here. I wanna let this water start clearing up. So we are gonna go ahead and plug it in. And yeah, we're definitely gonna need something a little bigger, but that will be fine for now. And now we are gonna head out to a couple different stores. First of all, I wanna go to Home Depot to get a bag of gravel to go on the rest of that land section. Then after that, we're gonna head over to PetSmart and I'm gonna take a look at some of the artificial plants and like other decorations they have. But yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys at the stores. All 
Alrighty guys, well I'm here at PetSmart in the reptile aisle looking for some plants and I don't see anything I like too much other than this thing right here. You can see it's got suction cups on it. We could stick it to the side of the pond. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get one of these. You know what? Screw it, we're getting two. Hopefully that'll look good. I'll see you guys back at home. Alrighty guys, so we are back from the stores. As you can see here, we've got our rocks and we've got a couple little plants from PetSmart, but we also got something else for the fish room if you take a look around. I did buy a 50 foot strand of string lights and look at this, they make a huge difference. It was super dark in this basement before, but these things really help. And they actually give me pretty good lighting like from any angle for filming, which is just awesome. But yeah, now we are gonna go ahead and finish up this turtle pond. And the first thing I'm gonna do is rinse down our pebbles. I'm also gonna rinse down our driftwood and those rocks. I just wanna get everything ready to go into this pond. And yeah, I'll see you when I'm all done with that. Alrighty guys, well, it is actually the next day. I just wanted to give this turtle pond some time to clear up and also heat up. If you take a look back there by the filter, I did throw a heater in here. This basement gets pretty chilly, so I wanted to make sure we can keep the water at the proper temperature for my turtles. So I threw that heater in here and this water definitely feels warmer than it did last night. Which is just great because we are indeed bringing the turtles over here today. We still have a little bit more work to do on this pond. Just scaping it and everything, getting the basking area set up, but it's not gonna take long at all. And with that being said, we're gonna hop right back into it. Alrighty guys, well the driftwood and rocks are in place. We've got that bigger log on that side and then we've got the smaller one over here. And yeah, now that those ramps are built, we can go ahead and put those plants in place. Alrighty guys, and check that out. I've told you guys before, having plants in the tank makes the biggest difference. Just having all that green in there makes it look a million times better. And I am loving how this turtle pond is turning out. And we are almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that reed fencing on the outside again. Alrighty guys, so the pond is pretty much done. Here is a look at it. As you can see, that reed fencing really pulls this thing together. And off camera a second ago, I actually went ahead and put a little piece of driftwood and a rock and some gravel on our beach section. And I definitely like the look of that instead of it being just plain. And yeah, this pond is looking a lot better than I even expected it to. I am super happy with it. And now the last thing we need to do is head on over to the old fish room, pick up our basking lamp, our basking lamp rack, probably a couple extra plants that can go in here. And then we are gonna be picking up our three pet turtles and introducing them to their new home. Now with that being said, I'll see you guys over at the fish room. All right guys, so here we are in the fish room. Currently feeding everyone. You can see the turtles down here in their containers. Come on Midas, let me get a bite. Let me get a bite. There it is. But yeah, we're letting these guys eat one more time before moving them over to their new pond. I wanted to make sure they eat one more time before we move them because a lot of times when you move turtles to a new enclosure, they just don't really want to eat for a few days. My turtles might not really be affected because I feed them in separate containers anyway. And yeah, while they're eating, I'm obviously going to feed everyone else. But yeah, got our boy Pluto right here. Here, two red tail catfish right over here. Someone in the comments was asking for an update on Neptune, the blue crayfish. There he is right down there doing great. And yeah, right here we have my turtle basking lamp rack. This is gonna be going like in that back corner of the pond and it's gonna hold the basking lamps. Then we are just gonna take that dual lamp fixture that's currently on the turtle tank. And yeah, as soon as I finish feeding everyone, we're going to get these turtles all loaded up into the truck and bring them back to their new pond. So I'll see you there. Alrighty guys, we are back home. And as you can see, I already went ahead and set up the basking area. It looks absolutely absolutely perfect. And now we are gonna throw a few more plants in here. And I actually think I wanna put this one in the beach section. Yeah, okay, that actually kinda looks stupid. So I'll move this one right over here. And then I do wanna put a couple in the water. So I'm gonna take this tall one right here. Maybe do like right here. And we'll take this one and put it over here. And we'll take the last one and put it over here, kinda by the filter. And guys, with that, this turtle pond is done. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I think it looks great. The turtles have all this different land to explore. Obviously they spend most of their time in the water. So we have plenty of stuff for them to climb around on in the water. And now it is finally time to add our turtles into this turtle pond. So we're gonna start with Sheldon Jr. Got him right here. It's okay, calm down buddy. And we'll put him right here on this rock. Let him go into the water. He's right down there. You can barely see him. It should be cleared up in a couple days, but right here we've got Toby. I'm gonna set him on the same rock. And there he goes. And lastly, we've got Midas. There you go, buddy. 
right on into the water. And yeah, with that, all the turtles are in. I just spooked Midas a little bit. I cannot wait to see how these turtles like their new home. Definitely can't wait to see them up there on the new basking area. But yeah, of course, these turtles are going to take quite a while to get used to this new pond. So we're gonna let them get adjusted. I'm probably gonna turn all the lights off in here. And then tomorrow morning, I'll pick the camera back up, give a little update on them, see how they're doing. And yeah, here's one last look at the turtle pond from a distance. I am so happy with how it turned out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, well, it is the next day, and let's just go right ahead and check in on our turtles. We got Midas heading into that cave. We got Junior hanging out under the filter. Then I can just barely see Toby's head peeking out under there. And yeah, if you take a look at the pond, you'll notice a couple different things. First of all, the water cleared up quite a bit overnight, which is just awesome. But then over here, I actually did rearrange the wood. When I first came down here this morning, this whole structure I had right here completely fell apart. So I guess one of the turtles was digging around in it. And yeah, so far, so good as far as the turtle pond goes. Obviously, have not seen any of them up there on the basking area yet. Haven't tried feeding them yet either. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys are excited about this new turtle pond as I am. Be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And now the next order of business down here in the fish room is the 470 gallon pool pond. Super excited to get started on that. And yeah, today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.